Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody, and welcome to Marvel Snap. If you guys uh, subscribe to me from my other channel, this is very weird. I'm usually traveling or vlogging, but second channel, trying some new things. It's 12 o'clock at night, and I'm bored. I've been playing this game on my phone. It's kind of fun. I actually hit rank 100 this season with this deck that's pretty amazing, and I don't see too many people on YouTube making guides about it and I actually put a spin on it so hey you know if you're from the other channel and if you're new what's up my name's Jonathan but everyone calls me Jojo I'm a youtuber but today I'm making some Marvel snap content so here we go this is the high evolutionary deck obviously I'm still working out the formatting right now but if we go over to our collector level I actually was able to get the high evolutionary in the spotlight cache uh, I think a week ago, and honestly, it just propelled me into a whole new level of competing. So let me show you my deck, because I've only been playing this game for about two months, but it's pretty awesome, having a lot of fun with it. I don't have nearly any other cards, but let me, let me show you what the deck we're working with right now. So the High Evolutionary, if you don't know, basically he uh elevates all the cards that don't have any abilities wait this is not my this is not my deck it's not the not not this is this is not the right deck hold on oh here it is cool all right so obviously the main card you need for this deck is the high evolutionary what's great about this deck is if you do get the high evolutionary the rest of the cards are a little bit easier to get only because a lot of them you get in the beginning of the game, like Shocker and Cyclops, uh, and then the Misty Knight. But the rest are kind of... You gotta play a little bit. But here's the deck. Um, I guess I can leave a deck code down below if you guys are interested. Again, this got me to level 100, or rank 100. And now, when, now I'm fighting all the big top dogs. I gotta get new decks i guess i don't know but i'm pretty proud first season i've ever done this now let's go through each card one by one to explain how it helps number one sunspot he is a great card basically after each turn game plus one power for each unspent energy this whole deck is based around debuffing the enemy's deck and saving mana so you can power up sunspots you cyclops ability which normally is nothing but with uh, the high evolutionary upgrade. Basically, he does minus two to the enemy team uh, between two cards. I, that's actually weird. I'm surprised they're not letting me show the actual ability. I guess I have to go through high evolutionary, so let's just go, wait, nope, not thing. High evolutionary, yeah, we can go this way. So I, the Wasp is actually a great uh, part of this deck. I just don't own her, so I had to make a substitution, which I think is actually better. But anyway, Misty Knights, when you end the turn with unspent energy, she buffs one other card, which is good. Shocker decreases the cost of your leftist card, leftist, uh, leftmost card. Again, all of these just have really good uh, and uh, synergy with unspent energy. This is what I was talking about. When you end a turn of unspent energy, it's like two run enemies here of negative one power again the thing afflict three random enemy cards here with minus one power and then when you're subtracting power from the enemy team this card becomes stronger because with each um, subtraction of power this guy costs less and he's a pretty strong nine drop uh usually five mana but i usually get him down to two or, or one cost which really surprises people but the most important card in this deck which everybody has is the Hulk. Obviously he's a 612 cost, which is pretty strong on its own, but with his high evolutionary buff, when you end the turn, he gets plus two power if you don't spend all your mana. This is insane. I have swung so many wins just from this Hulk because sometimes I get him in the first hand and man, by the end of it, he's like a 20 cost. And again, this is all stuff I just learned by myself <laughs> i didn't look up guys this is the high evolutionary and yeah so those are the cards he changes now the couple of things i added just to you know synergize is scorpion another debuff uh he afflicts the opponent's hand minus one so again that powers up the thing uh cosmo is just a good counter again i feel like some of the meta right now is just anti-meta aka just disrupting the deck in a different way 
honor veal enemies uh this is great for like wong or destroy decks again it, it's it's helped out it's a little it's kind of annoying to time him properly but if you if you get that then it's good like i've won games in turn two just because i put down cosmo in the right spot uh shang chi or shang chi it's shang chi uh he destroys enemy cards that have a lot of power again just another counter it's good to have and again you just get so many options with this deck which is pretty awesome and last but not least this is my own little touch magic uh basically you add a whole nother turn to your fight with the other team and it's really really helpful for me just because that one extra turn allows me to get one more turn to power up hulk or maybe put down hulk on turn six and then throw an abomination on turn seven again this whole deck just does a really really good job of Helping each other out. Now, the biggest counter to this deck, I can tell you right now, is Luke Cage and on reveal decks. When you have Wong and Odin coming in, uh, if you don't have Cosmo ready to go, you usually just get outmatched because there's just so much power behind those on reveal decks. And then Luke Cage just completely cancels any kind of uh, subtracting damage from the enemy cards, which, you know half of these cards do that you know well actually one two three yeah there's like four or five cards that benefit off of us negatively affecting the enemy deck so yeah it's a really good deck got me to uh rank thirty-seven thousand, and i didn't want to do it here but we're gonna do it here we're just gonna hop into a game right now uh that's not my right deck Anyway, uh, let me know down below. I, I know most of y'all watching right now are probably like not into this gaming thing, <laughs> but it's a fun game. So, and I like it. This again, second channel. Give me, give me a, a break. I'm going, I'm actually going on a trip this weekend. So I'm just chilling tonight. Also, I love my title. Your cubes, give them to me. I could make a basic tutorial for Marvel Snap in general because I'll Probably a lot of you have, have never seen this before. But anyway, this is actually a great start. Right now, we got Misty Knight, Hulk, Cyclops, and Magic. This is what I always want. Uh, it's a one cost, so you get her out there right now. That location is kind of annoying. I have actually haven't really played on the desktop too much. This is so weird. It's higher quality. This is great. Again, okay. I already feel very confident in this. Now, see, we don't have any uh, cards to use, but that's great because as we end this turn, Hulk gets a plus two. So we're kind of, even though we're not playing anything, we're still working towards our end game, which is dope. Um, Quantum Realm is great for Sunspot because he is a zero cost, which makes it a two. Again, um, I think the game knows that we're making a YouTube video. So unspent energy, it's not wasted because now Hulk's getting buffed. Sunspot is actually getting a plus two. So now we're on the board. This guy's store. Who knows? We might still lose this game though. I, 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 these are like really high ranked people. And this guy has like a glowy infinity sign. Okay. Now this is a tough choice. Um, just because it, the question is magic or Cyclops. I think we're going to use... Oh God, door so scary. Um, I don't want to we're gonna use Cyclops next turn. We're still getting that unspent energy and also I get to show you the effect So now you'll see Cyclops because it's uns Ugh, we have Wong. I literally told you this is the only thing that counters me So we might just lose off that now Unfortunately, but see how he decreased Oh boy, okay Wow This is I've I think I've only ever recorded like three gameplay videos ever in my life and this match is showcasing exactly the potential of this deck but the issue now is that we can't extend okay this is what we're gonna do this this might be a risky move do i want to extend the game or do i want to play cosmo see if i play cosmo now we stop anything that he might do now, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wait. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use that. We're gonna play Cosmo next turn. Let, I don't know if that's gonna, you know, ruin us. We'll see. He's thinking too, oh, I have to end the turn. Oops, awkward. Okay, oh, perfect. He didn't play anything on Wong. 
So now we have to, instead of the game ending at turn six, it turns and it ends turn seven, which while wow, he has crazy skins or card. Okay, see, you just saw the full effect of Cyclops. Even though he has a full board, and we only have two cards on Mar Island, we're still like giving some space there because he's again us not playing cards also helps us, which is great. See, Hulk is at a twenty now, so we're gonna drop Hulk next round i'm pretty sure we win this game as you see our abomination is at three so i could um yeah let's do it let's let's drop abomination here do we do abomination on limbo We basically win there. Um, no, 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 no. We're gonna... Okay. Perfect. See? Cosmo's gonna completely stop this. I'm gonna snap too. Oh! See? That's how you win. I was gonna snap. I, 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 I'm, I'm sad I couldn't show you Hulk. But, uh, see? He was a 20 cost. So even if that person continued to play, he would have won. That was great. Perfect example. I don't really understand the ranking system here yet, but um, yes, this game's a very fun to play, very easy to play too, honestly, um, for kids, people my age, young adults, and adults. It's a, I usually, like I said, I usually play on my phone, and that's why it's like this because this is developed for the iPad. But um, you know, and because we are making a YouTube video, let's just upgrade our animation. Yee, yeah, so pretty. I do want to get a variant for Hulk. Ooh. I mean, we don't get anything good here. But yeah, I, this was a lot of fun. I mean, I love making content, obviously, but making content in this way was invigorating and fun. So yeah, uh, I think this is one of the best decks in the meta right now. It's easy to play. Um, the value of the cards aren't too hard to get. Like I said, I've only been playing for about two months. So I think you guys could have a lot of fun with this. I really hope this helped. If it did, uh, let me know down below. My name is Jojo, and I wish I had a better format for all this, but yeah, uh, I, I will make more if you guys want me to. I, I had fun with this. Okay, remember it is a blessed day to be alive, and uh, good luck getting those cubes. I don't know if that really sounded right, but you get the idea. See you guys.